Hello, you guys. This is the start of a vlog, but not really a vlog vlog. It's a five star prediction vlog. So I have this idea that I should like do vlogs based on my five star predictions, like dedicate a whole vlog to like books that I gave five star predictions. Right here, pop up, you will see that I posted an entire video of books that I think I will give five stars and so far all the books that I've read in that video I have not given five stars you have Zyla and Kai I didn't give five stars I didn't give pizza girl five stars and I think those are the only two books I've read since then that were on my five star prediction but I could be wrong but I don't think I've given any of them five stars yet but a book that was in that video is open water i am going to read open water in this vlog this is actually going to be a 24 hour vlog i've only read 20 pages so far of it so it's going to be a 24 hour vlog i am going to read this entire thing in like a day i'm probably going to read it in one sitting honestly i just want to get it done with but i want to come and discuss my thoughts on this so this is called open water it is by caleb azuma nelson i believe they are a london based author I could be wrong but I believe they are a London based author and this book I believe is a love story so I don't know anything about this book going into it I also don't know many people's thoughts about this book I've seen a few people who I'm subscribed to read this book but I haven't watched their videos on it because a thing that I do I don't like watching people's videos on a book before I've read the book honestly sometimes I'll skip through the like vlog portion and see just what their final thoughts are just so I know if I could pick it up but if it's something I'm interested in oh my gosh my bookmark came out shit I will um I will just wait and not uh get their information on it just because i don't want to be swayed because honestly when someone gives something a bad review or i know things about a book i push it off longer and i don't want to do that and so open water is what we are going to read i probably shouldn't be reading open water because i don't know if you guys know this but in the month of february i read nothing but black authors i am a black history month girl I think Black History Month is important. I think during Black History Month and also outside of Black History Month, but most importantly in Black History Month, it is important to celebrate all things Black people. So during Black History Month, I only read Black authors. Like there's no if, there's no buts. I only read Black authors doing black, during Black History Month. So I probably should have just waited and saved this for next week and like read a white book so I could just get to it. So because all in February I won't be reading it, but whatever this was short and I thought I could get to it in this video so so far what's happening in this book we seem to be getting told a love story you guys I have a degree in English but baby point of views fuck me up a little bit I believe this book is in second POV I believe this is told in second point of view because this book is told let me just read a sentence to you and you guys can tell me if I'm an idiot it goes um oh let me find a sentence where they say something look at me I can't even find it okay right here your house is too quiet or rather it is loud in the absence of others that your so when someone says like your you they're speaking in second POV. They're telling you about yourself. Things are being posed about you. But the thing that trips me up about that is this book, like they're not talking about me. <laughs> they're not talking about me. It's clear that this story is almost like a reek, someone telling someone else their love story. So let's say I go to the grocery store. And you go like, oh, you went to the grocery store today. That would still be second POV, right? Someone telling you about what something you did. My thing is that I'm person, the reader is not the you. That's what trips me up about it. So it's, I think it's second POV, but you're not the you. It's not like insert yourself, like you as the you. It's talking about you as in like someone, whoever the person is in this love story. So let's just say him because he is the point of view that it seems to be coming from um him he's the you 
and she's the she. Anyways, I still think that's second POV, but I could totally be wrong. And y'all can just say I'm an idiot down in the comments. No bad blood. <laughs> um, because it's not third person limited. That wouldn't make any sense. It's not third person omniscient because the person doesn't know everything that's going on and they don't seem removed from the store it, like I think it's second POV the thing is I think this is really struggling for me because second POV is like never used in books the only time you really do see second POV is in poetry and that's another thing I want to get on with this book this book reads as poetry you don't want to know what this book reads as this book kind of reads as luster it kind of has that luster feel where yes you're getting a story but the sentences are very fragmented and I wouldn't say choppy. Luster, the sentences were choppy and I think that was a style choice. These sentences aren't choppy. These sentences are very elegant, but it is choppy. You're getting the, you're not, it's not choppy. They are fragmented. You get, you're getting these sentences that don't necessarily all go together like one thing doesn't lead to the next it's just like here's a sentence here's a sentence and it does all come together and make sense make more sense than luster made sense but it's still fragmented with that being said so you have this guy who is basically falling in love with his best friend that's what we get from the very beginning this guy is going to fall in love with his best friend or fall in love with a friend and what is coming of that we're getting the information on how they met one another basically so like it starts off where they already know each other i believe and then it goes into like how they met each other how they would come to be a love story you guys i i, I brought i wish i had it it's on the floor let me show you let me show you guys if you follow the lily reads book club instagram you already know i brought my highlighter out <laughs> kenya has brought her highlighter out i don't always bring my highlighter out but this is a book that i feel like i'm going to return to in the future and when there's a book i know i'm really really going to return to i like to highlight things so i remember certain things and it takes me back to where I was in life when I was reading the book. And this book has so many good quotes. There's a quote in this book about desire. They were like, that's the tough thing about desire. What if it's not reciprocated? And it's just like, that sent me to the moon because it's like so true. It's like so true. Think about it like when this is a, we're only reading this book in the vlog so I can gush. I can talk about stuff think about when you let's say you want to be famous on tiktok right and you put in all the work you edit your tiktoks you 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 study the for you page you study the algorithm you do everything to try to get that thing and what if no one fucking likes your content what if just no one wants to watch you like that is the toughest thing about desire that you can literally put everything into something and it just not happen <laughs> it just not happened like it just not happened for you for example right now i am writing my book i am deep into writing my book i write it every single day and it's just like i fully believe this book is 100 going to come out i don't think that's gonna be an issue but like what if people fucking hate it like, what if people fucking hate it like i like i'm putting everything into this debut novel and like what if it sucks <laughs> like that's just something you have to do like a, that's just a part of being a human like putting all of yourself into something and just hoping that it's reciprocated like you get exactly what you put in out of it and it's just like you never know so there's just so many good quotes work uh yeah so you know my highlighter is out because i have so many quotes that i I want to give you guys I'm not going to go through all of them because I still have pages to go and I'm sure there's going to be more quotes but anyway I'm just going to read this throughout the day and we will just hang out with each other for the day I guess I don't know I am about to head to the library so I'll check you guys when I'm in my car or something I have a rental car right now so you guys won't get to see my pretty Jeep I'm still in a Jeep by the way my rental car is a Jeep but not a Jeep Wrangler it's like a Jeep compass like no it's just no sauce no no shade to the girls in a Jeep compass it's just not me you know so 
I'll see you guys when I'm in the Jeep Compass, okay? Hey y'all. Ooh, it's bright. It's bright. Can y'all see me? Y'all can't see me. Can y'all see me? Like I'm trying. Uh, uh, uh. Anyways, you guys, this is the rental car. Like whatever. She's 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 cute or whatever. Like I don't know what to tell you. Like she's no Sahara. Like I don't know what to tell you. It's like a Jeep Compass. Like I don't know. Anyways. I have a story to tell but it's not really a story and it's not interesting so you can skip right past this and go to the part where i'm talking about open water okay so in my town there is an applesauce bandit you guys might not know this about me but if you know me you know this about me anyone who knows me personally knows i am the queen of applesauce that sounds nuts but i am I am the queen of applesauce. You know when someone is hungry, they just want a little snack. Maybe they grab crackers. Maybe they grab chips. Maybe they grab a piece of candy, a pretzel, granola. That's what normal human beings do. Kenya grabs applesauce. I firmly believe I eat more applesauce than anyone on this planet Earth. I genuinely believe I consume more applesauce than everyone on this planet Earth. Since for the past like 10, 15 years of my life, I don't think I've gone more than a day without eating applesauce. I fucking love applesauce. And specifically, I love applesauce in the cups. I do not like applesauce in the slurp and I do not like applesauce that comes out of the jar. I like it in the cups. So, in my opinion, I could make a whole list on what places have the best applesauce. The worst applesauce is Target brand applesauce, only to be rivaled with Mott's. Mott's applesauce is so fucking disgusting. The two best places with the best applesauce are Harris Teeter. Harris Teeter is something that's specific to, I think, North Carolina. I think there's only Harris Teeters in North Carolina, probably someplace else, but Harris Teeter is where you're going to see in North Carolina, specifically like South Charlotte of North Carolina. There's a lot of Harris Teeters. That's where I grew up. Fucking love Harris Teeter. <laughs> Harris Teeter applesauce is so good and I believe Harris Teeter and Kroger are owned by the same brand but for some reason Kroger applesauce like applesauce brand and Harris Teeter applesauce brand don't taste the same I don't know what that's about but that's not to knock Kroger applesauce because I'm actually going to put Kroger applesauce at like maybe fourth you have green wise green whiz green wise their applesauce is good as well and there is another brand where um what's the name of that brand you get it from like sam's club usually they have really good applesauce too it's sweet as fuck so like i don't really dip and dabble in it but they have good applesauce too i just ne can never find it it doesn't matter it like truly does not matter um so but number one, number one, I believe is Publix. Publix has the best applesauce. And so I guess everyone in my town, you see I'm at Publix. Everyone in my town knows that Publix has good applesauce. And the applesauce has been gone, y'all, for like two, three weeks. There has been no applesauce in my town. Well, I found out the day that the, the the Publix restock and you guys I went this morning to a Publix and they were doing restock but they hadn't gotten to the applesauce and I'm just not one of those people that's gonna ask somebody to go check in the back for my applesauce like it's given like these people do not get paid enough to be worried about you and your applesauce so I was just like okay chop I went to another town to the Publix because no, no no other place had the applesauce either because I don't know if maybe it's maybe there isn't an applesauce bandit maybe it's a supply chain issue I don't know but baby I got the goods I got the goods you guys they only had five out because they've been out I've been to this Publix they've been out you guys and they only had five I picked up three let me show her 
let me show her these these you can tell by the color that it's good like you guys i am an applesauce enthusiast i know when the applesauce is gonna be good applesauce is supposed to, supposed to have a specific color to know it's gonna be good and no i do not do strawberry applesauce orange applesauce raspberry grape jelly no i don't do that fucking shit um i am an applesauce no unsweet and get the fuck out of here i'm not eating unsweetened applesauce but like applesauce i'm a purist in that way um i i got the goods now everything is telling me everything is telling me to go back in there and get the last two everything is telling me to go back in there and get the last two and just buy them out and i'm sorry that means some little kids is not gonna have applesauce in a lunchbox but what they gotta do with me like i'm feeling it i'm feeling like that's what i should do and just go to a different register because it doesn't at Publix if they they tell you if something has a limit on it like you can only get a certain amount so I kind of want to buy them out more on that later because this isn't too too far away from my home so I could come back this way but if I come back this way and it's gone, if I come back this way and it's gone, I'm actually going to see if they have that other applesauce I was telling you guys about that's only at Sam's Club. I never look for it because I just be looking for the Publix applesauce, but I'm going to see what other applesauce they have here. So like, yeah, yeah, I'm an applesauce enthusiast. Like, you want to know another thing, the one that comes in the slurp, because my friend, she used to get at school, she used to bring the one in the slurp and her parents used to pack it for her, even though she didn't like applesauce. And so she used to give it to me because she knew she I, I liked applesauce and like, I'd rather not eat the applesauce in the slurp. But when I used to eat, it didn't taste bad. Like I know bad tasting applesauce. The slurp applesauce doesn't taste bad. I just don't want to slurp up my applesauce in like a juice pouch, like get fucking for real. Anyways, we're headed to the library. When the Tefla uh, tote come out, it means we are headed to the library. So I am returning some books to the library. Let me show y'all. I'm returning some books to the library. As much as I would love to give you guys like a rapid fire review of the books I'm returning to the library, I ain't read them, girl. I ain't read them, girl. I'm returning such sharp teeth. I would love to get to this book, but like I said, February is Black History Month. I'm only reading black authors, therefore I won't be able to get to this in time when it's due, so I might as well give it back. The book that I really, I really want to, um, want to um keep is aurora i deeply want to read this but i just don't i have a vlog that's gonna come go to you guys go up to you guys on the last day of the month i like to get a vlog up the last day of the month and i have to read the books for that vlog so there's no time for me to get to aurora so i'm just gonna return it and pick it back up in March. Now, who they was. Then we have who they was. I am also bringing who they was back because I won't be able to get to it for Black History Month. So I'll probably pick, I'll revisit all of those in the future, but as of today, I'm taking all of those back. I haven't read them, but I do have some books that I am going to pick up from the library too. So that's exciting. Then I want to see what options they have in like black authors because I want to see what I can read for a uh, library chooses my vlog maybe um next month in February. We'll see. But anyways, my skin is like feeling good. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. That's 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 my life looking for applesauce. I will see you guys later. Peace. The lighting is terrible, but luckily the camera kind of brightened it up. Um, I have a hundred pages left of open water. Although this book seems pretty short, this book on most pages has a lot of words on it. <laughs> this book can be kind of dense. It's not like the easiest of reads because it's written like poetry in a way. It's choppy. You know, you really have to think on each page about what's going on. Like, look at this page. Like, this is all words. <laughs> all words, no spaces. So, like, it can get pretty, pretty dense. 
in this book but once again the same stuff is happening you're literally just hearing about a guy and his relationship with his best friend and the stuff he is going through in his personal life and i have to say with 100 pages left i am really really enjoying this book i'm enjoying it a lot this book is like a friends to lovers wet dream there's a quote in here and it was talking about how the two friends were they had like an intimate moment together and the friend was like everything is different now and he's like how is everything different like we didn't even like they didn't kiss they didn't have sex it was none of that she was like but we did something else that's a lot more special and that kind of summed up why i love friends to lovers it's that connection you have before the two people get together that you don't get in other stories it's that vulnerability you get before the couple becomes the couple you know that's the real that's the real punch of the relationship when it comes to friends to lovers it's those shared moments that two people have that really make it a romance story for me and this book is really hitting on that and why i love friends to lovers type story another thing this book is hitting on why i love friends to lovers type story it's easy to meet someone and be like "Ooh, they cute and then you're like i really want to be with them and then you guys like get together there's a mystery there you know and it makes sense to be attracted to someone because they're mysterious you don't know about them you want to get to know them that's human instinct you want to when you find something or someone attractive you want to get to know like what's behind it you want to make it yours but it's another thing to know someone to constantly be around someone and still want to choose them still want to be with them see everything about them so there's nothing new there's nothing new you know how they laugh you know how they talk you know what they like to eat you know what they like to watch they annoy you sometimes they're mean sometimes you get to see all of them and still you choose them every single time that's also what this book is really hitting on he and his best friend they're really really close and yet he's still blown away by like everything that she does I'm just, I'm absolutely loving it. The stuff about his personal life. I don't have my highlighter with me upstairs. So I've been like dog earing a bunch of stuff. Every time there's a quote that I just love. Um, I've just been dog earing. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. But the problem with dog earing is I forget what I dog eared and what I liked. So I have to go find it and then go back and highlight but i'm really enjoying myself i'm gonna keep on reading i'll probably read about 50 more pages come back give you some thoughts but we're shaping up for a solid solid read i'm enjoying myself it's really really good you guys it's quote time i literally almost came on here and didn't tell you guys like my favorite quote thus far on page 67 you get the quote to be you is to apologize and often that apology comes in the form of suppression just genius like just genius just a wordsmith there's also a section about zadie smith you guys know i am a zadie smith stan so that just that did it for me it's all just doing it for me my dog ears are like going away so I'm like losing my stuff, but it's so good. It's so good. I'm enjoying everything about it. But yeah, so far, favorite quote this far. I wish I had my highlighter, but I'm just going to have to go through after I finish and highlight. Could I just go get the highlighter that is literally like 20 feet away from me? Sure. But that just takes a little bit too much work. So I'm about to go back to reading. Okay, so I have literally only like 60 pages left. And I am still very much so enjoying Open Water. What I really love about this book, something different that I really love about this book, is that in like a chapter before, he will introduce an idea or like a verb. So like for example, like to break 
to fracture or like spillage what is spillage stuff like that he'll come up with like a word and he'll have an entire chapter dedicated to what that word means to his life or something coming like something that's happening in his life and then later on in the book he will use that same word to reference something else and you already know what he means by that because he gave you a whole chapter on what that means it really keeps you in the story it really because the writing is so choppy intentionally not choppy because the writing is so fragmented it can feel like sometimes it's all not coming together but when he pulls from things from chapters in the past it does make it feel like it's all coming together I really like that um, something I have to sit with in myself, this book is 100% from the black male gaze and I'm not a black male, I am a black female, I am a black woman. And so me as a black woman, I'm like, but what about the woman? Because a lot there is like sections about like police brutality and all of that stuff. And it is heavily centered on like black men because the person who wrote this is a black man. And of course they're going to center their own experiences and their own people, <laughs> black men in their story. It's just like me being a black woman. I have like, it's not like uncomfortable or anything. It's just something I have to sit with. Like I have to hear from another perspective and take that in. And so definitely it takes a little bit of adjusting because you know, I always want to talk about black women and black feminism and what black women go through. And you know, that's not, write your own book, Kenya. That's what it gives. It gives write your own book if you want to do it that bad because this is Kate Caleb's book and that's what you need to understand but I'm still very much so enjoying it I am going to take a little break I don't know if I'm just going to finish this in the morning or finish it tonight before I go to bed but regardless it's going to be red the next time you guys see me I will be done with it I never told you guys what happened with the library so I took the books back to the library, but I didn't go inside the library to get the books that I have on hold. So I really want to show you guys though. So maybe I can get to the library in the morning and show you guys what's going on there with that. But yeah, I'm making fajitas tonight. I'm about to watch some girlfriends. I need to pay a couple bills <laughs> online. Like nothing fun. I just have like housekeeping stuff to do. It's never fun. During the week is never fun. I'm like, do I'm not doing nothing fun. I enjoy the way I spend my days. I still have to do Peloton tonight. I haven't worked out today. I literally never work out at night. Never. I never work out at night. But I had to get an early start to my morning. And I had already like done my entire skincare routine and stuff. And I just felt like it wasn't worth getting all sweaty and taking a shower. And then having to do all of that again. So I might as well just do Peloton at night. Then take my shower at night. And do all of that. Anyways, y'all don't care. Y'all literally do not care. But I will see you guys a little later. Peace. Oh, hey y'all. So I did Peloton. I've read like 20 more pages of open water. It's really good. At this point, they're in a full blown relationship right now. It's really cute. We're dealing with his trauma and everything that comes with his trauma about being a black man in London and how he's trying to love through it, have joy through it. I'm just really, really enjoying it, you know? It's a really good book to read in a day. But anyways, I'm about to do skincare because my face is dry. I have dry skin, so my face is always dry, but it's really dry right now. And then I'm going to cook dinner and that's going to be my day. Okay, well, yeah, that's gonna complete my day. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay, peace.
Hello you guys. Good morning. I am headed to the dermatologist and then I am going to check another Publix to see if they have my applesauce because I want to buy in bulk. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm going to buy, go to a Publix close to my dermatologist. And then tomorrow is my anniversary. So I would like to get these like specialty cupcakes. So I might put an order in for those while I'm out too. And then I need to go home and do like work stuff. Like this is the first thing I've done today. Usually I get, I work out, then do work stuff. And then I usually run errands like I'm doing now. But because my dermatologist appointment is early, I'm doing all of that right now. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to check in since this is a 24 hour vlog. We are almost at the end of our 24 hours. I'm going to read the last 40 pages of this book and then see you guys later. Okay, peace. Hello you guys. So I am after the dermatologist. You can't tell, but my face is like tight. It's not on fire. I got a chemical pill. Because one thing about me, I go to the dermatologist and get to like acting like I ain't got no sense. But, oh, I got a chemical pill. And so you guys probably will see me pilling because I'm doing another vlog after this. So I'm going to start pilling in two days. So you guys will see the pilling, but not in this vlog. Obviously, I won't peel for a while. Um, I just put in the order for my cupcakes. There's a Barnes & Noble close to here, so I kind of want to go in there and just see what the girls have. I don't want to buy nothing. I just want to see what the girls have. I want to see what the girls have. I just, I'm over here, and I'm never near a Barnes & Noble, so I want to just see what the girls have. So I'm going to step in there, like, real quick, and then I'm going to go to Publix, and then I'm done running errands for the day. I'm going home and I will be home for the rest of the day. You wanna know the most unfortunate thing about this chemical pill? I can't work out. I can't work out for the next few days because like they don't want your face to get hot while you're peeling, so that's a little unfortunate. But also another good thing is that <laughs> because I got this chemical pill, the medicine that I usually use on my face, I can't use on my face, so I don't even have no rush to go to the pharmacy and pick it up. So that's also good, I ain't gotta go to the pharmacy today. But anyways, that's pretty much an update for today. Of course, I still haven't read Open Water because I haven't read Open Water because I ain't been home to read Open Water. But I am going to get home, then do some work, then finish Open Water. So I will probably see you guys back, like literally at the point where this vlog is supposed to end at the 24-hour mark. And we'll wrap this up and it'll be done, okay? Hey y'all, I'm out of Barnes and Noble. I saw books of all kinds and varieties that I wanted, but I did not get it. I actually went in there with a purpose. I am on the lookout for Viola Davis memoir. And before I wanted to buy Viola Davis memoir, I saw it everywhere. But for the past three times that I went to a bookstore, I haven't seen the memoir. I don't wanna go out of my way and buy it because like I'm kind of on a no buy this year I don't really want to go look for books to buy but if something like comes across my path and I've been wanting it I will get it and so I'm hoping I keep going into bookstores hoping I'll run into Viola Davis memoir and I'm not but I'm sure it's in the store but I don't want to go see <laughs> I don't want to ask anyone because like then that takes the point of a no buy like I just want to stumble across it and be like Viola Davis memoir I also thought about buying a Zadie Smith book because they're talking about Zadie Smith a lot in this book and you guys know I love Zadie Smith but then I was like no Kenya don't do that and there were some other books that I saw they also had this blind date with a book thing for Valentine's Day and I thought about doing that, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a romance I've already read. And if I open up that bitch and it's Colleen Hoover inside, like, I'm coming to get my money back immediately. And this ain't in my house. So, I ended up just getting croissants. <laughs> I got croissants. And I deeply want a coffee. But in January, for the past five years, I always do, like, a no drink, a no beverage. So, no coffee, no soda, no juice, no nothing. I can only drink good old water in the month of january and january is almost over thank god <laughs> thank god i want a coffee but i'm still on it i haven't 
cheated i never cheat i always make it through the entire month of january without any beverages that's not water so just have croissants yeah i give up candy in january so like to say kenya's not doing i'm doing well now it's been 20 some odd days so like i'm fine and just like that we have finished our 24 hour vlog i have completed open water i'm going to give this book four out of five stars i was gushing about this book there was so much i loved about this book and i said all of that throughout the entire video what i loved about this book why this book didn't get five stars it's the ending for me i found the ending to be a little bit boring i found the ending to be a little bit boring nothing more than what we got throughout the entire novel. This might be a case of the book starting off so strong. I feel like there was no place else to go in the end because the ending just kind of dragged for me for such a, you know, for such a short book, even though I think people overestimate how dense this book is, underestimate how dense this book is. For such a short book, it, I kind of felt like at the end we were spinning our wheels a little bit. I kind of got tired. I kind of felt like some of the same things were happening. Like we get like this police brutality like plot and how that affects him and all of that. And like I love that so much. And I think if you are a black man, I think this book really will res resonate with you in a way that a lot of media doesn't. So I would recommend picking this up if you are a black man. I recommend everyone picking this up, but I really think this would hit for a black man. But, but I do think like I got the point the first time and the second and the third. So it just, it, it does start to become a little bit restless it starts to become a little bit restless to me um the writing also got a little bit i don't usually like this fragmented style of writing i usually don't and i didn't mind it at first but once again towards the end i did start to mind it a bit i did start wanting a more linear narrative all the flower floweriness maybe even the pretentiousness was a little bit grating after a while for me. I'm not gonna lie. After a while, I was kind of like, yeah, get to the point. Yeah, get to the point. Like I was over, you know, dog earing my pages at all the beautiful quotes that I could take from. Like I was getting it. I was getting it. After a while, it's just like, okay, like we get it. You can write. You are a great writer. But other than that, I thought this book was brilliant though. That's just my enjoyment of it. It takes nothing away from the actual book in the actual writing. Brilliant in so many ways. But I am going to give it four out of five stars because it just is on how much I enjoy the book. But I am very glad that I read it. And that does mean I still have not gotten a five star from any of my five star predictions. We still have a lot more to go. So you will get throughout the year, you'll get little like 24 hour vlogs where I try to read my five star predictions or like 48, 72 hours. We'll see because some books are a little bit longer, but yeah, I'm excited that I read it. So I can put that in my pal of books I read this month. I will see you guys in the next one. We do have the Lily Reads book club on Sunday. And if you are watching this way in the future, I just dated this video, but you know what? I got a shout out to book club. We have the Lily Reads book club on Sunday where we will be reading White Out. So come join me over on there at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And if you want to see more of me, hit me up on Patreon, which is As Told by Kenya. Or you can just go subscribe to the As Told by Kenya YouTube channel. And or just stay over here. We have a fun time over here. 